Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and to another weekly vlog. <laughs> I have just done the intro to this vlog, which is normally when I film a bit of B-roll. Um, and I just thought I'd give you some behind the scenes. <laughs> so uh, I always just film like a couple of little clips and I'll stick over some music. Usually I'll put it at the start of the vlog or somewhere in between. Um, and I know like my channel is not full of aesthetics, right? Like you look at some of the other YouTubers and they have got filters and everything matches and their kitchen's always tidy. Like that's just not me. <laughs> but, I do like a bit of b-roll and a bit of music etc. Anyway, so I was filming this morning. <laughs> My first cup of coffee I tried to film, uh, when I stirred it I tore up the filter at the bottom of the AeroPress so then all the beans went through to the um, cup so like I had to scrap that and then do it again and uh, <laughs> when I was then like trying to push down the AeroPress it was taking all of my energy. <laughs> So I was like, trying to get the thing to go down. Um, and when I was doing my porridge, something else happened with that too. Oh yeah, like I almost burnt my porridge. And um, then like as soon as I fin finished filming the little clip, did I film my porridge? Oh man, I might have even forgotten to film it. I can't remember now. <laughs> Oh, I made this like really aesthetically pleasing porridge. I feel like I would have filmed it. Who knows? Um, and then like as soon as I stop anyway, I just mix it and it looks shocking, but that's how I eat it. <laughs> it's just funny like the things we do behind the scenes. Oh yeah, and then I was, <laughs> I filmed like, film up the kettle. I had to take all my dirty dishes out of the sink. <laughs> I was like, why am I doing this? Um, but anyway. And so the cup of coffee that you actually saw was my second cup of coffee of the day when I did all the AeroPress stuff because my first one was such a disaster and I was dying for coffee. <laughs> oh, anyway, um, I am just finishing up my work for the day. Um, hi, by the way. Did I say hi? Welcome back. <laughs> I think I said that. I normally do. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Let me know how your week is going. Um, today has just been a bit of shambles. Um, I just don't know where I'm going. Like the day has disappeared. I can't believe it's after four o'clock. I had been planning to pick this camera up all day and all of a sudden my day is over pretty much. I've just got a couple more things to do. And then, um, yeah, then I'll finish up for the evening. And then I'll be online to do the weekly vlog, although I'm actually gonna be out, but I'm gonna be on my phone. So hopefully hopefully that all goes well. <laughs> you guys will already know. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all doing well. And uh, yeah, let's get cracking with the weekly vlog. I'm probably not gonna film again today, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, <laughs> this is the weirdest intro ever. So it is a Wednesday evening and I'm just getting myself ready for bed. Uh, I've just used my night serum and I'm just gonna finish off my skincare routine. But uh, Pumba had been super sleepy all day and then this evening he just came to life. So I literally spent the last couple of hours just playing with him. I did work quite late and he was so tired all day. So he just slept, which was great because I had so much work to get done. Cause I'm actually off tomorrow and Friday. Finally, I'm taking some time off uh, without any plans. I'm literally just taking time off to rest, which feels amazing. And then um, Saturday I headed up to my boyfriend then but oh, I can't tell you how much I've been looking forward to these two days uh yeah I'm really really looking forward to just having some downtime watching Netflix relaxing having quality time with Pumba just really chilling out um so yeah I feel really good this evening obviously because I don't have to get up for work in the morning uh, which is really nice and then I've kind of just planned it out that I've got a couple of weeks coming up where I don't have to do four weeks which is really cool as well so you've got bank holiday and then I've just taken some more time off as well uh but yeah I'm so so happy to have time off I feel like a lot of you guys have been screaming at me for the last few months just being like take some time off <laughs> and finally I am doing it and I know I'll feel better for it as well I'm just gonna have some water I think I've mentioned these chilies bottles before but I absolutely love them I'm super weird about the temperature of my water. I don't like room temperature water. I like my water to be cold and this just keeps it nice and cold. 
Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go in with my night cream. I think I've mentioned before that I've been loving this Doctor's Formula Cosmeceutical Skincare Anti-Aging Restoring Night Moisturizer and it's marine collagen. I don't know, it's very long. Um, but it's really nice. I think I prefer it to the Elemis one that I was using for. Uh, both incredibly pricey though. I got this in an advent calendar, but I will not be repurchasing it full price, I don't think. Uh, I actually have some other uh, advent calendar moisturizers, including like nighttime ones that I need to use up anyway. So, I mean, possibly by the time I get through all them, it'll be time for advent again anyway. <laughs> Uh, I've noticed actually a lot of the uh, beauty brands like Space NK and other ones have been bringing out boxes so like very similar to the advent calendar where you pay you know a reduced price for a big package of things it's obviously worth a lot more I saw um oh, I can't remember the name I know Molly May did a collaboration one that was actually really good because I had some element stuff in it but it was stuff that I already have backups for <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so there's um, a few things flying around if you are interested in those sorts of things. I haven't looked into them because I have so many products I just need to get through. Uh, so I'm really trying not to buy new things. <laughs> but yeah, I uh, will use this um, Rose Quartz mask. I just like, I feel like my skin has been so dry and I don't know if it's because the weather's been super weird. Like you'll see, I started this vlog off with rain and it looks like it's the exact same clip as what I started the vlog with last week, but it's actually just still raining, <laughs> which is mad. Like it's mad for this time of year because normally May time in London, like sometimes our summer, like we have our best part of the summer in May, like April, May, and last year it was amazing. But yeah, this year it is pretty crazy. It's cold, it's wet, it's windy, it's stormy, like it's real mad. So I don't know if, yeah, if the weather is playing havoc with my skin because like I say, it normally wouldn't be this cold and stuff. And I've got like a breakout here, which you guys have probably seen. Uh, I've just found that no matter what I do, like I'll wear the lightest of makeup, like the lightest of foundations, just like a tinted moisturizer. But if I wear makeup and then I wear a mask, I get a spot right here and like literally I wore makeup for an evening to go for dinner and I broke out and that just happens every single time and even though I come home and I like thoroughly cleanse and all of that like you guys know I love my skincare routine so I do I don't mind taking the time like to take my makeup off properly and stuff it doesn't matter I still just get it I'll usually get it like here or here and I know you guys have said about masking before as well, but for me, it really is just when I wear makeup. Like I've had a few other breakouts, like with the mask and everything, particularly when I've had to wear a mask for a long time or whatever. But I've just found it so bad with makeup. So I don't know, I don't really know, <laughs> like what can you do, do you know what I mean? Uh, I've just not been wearing makeup, which <laughs> is a decent solution, but yeah, I don't know what to do. Um, this is actually the cozy shirt that I got from Primark. It's like a pajama night dress thing, but I've actually got like my little shorts and string top pajamas underneath, but it's so soft and lovely. So I'll normally just throw this on in the evening and then take it off and I just sleep then in the shorts and string top. I just don't like sleeping in night dresses alone but also like long sleeves unless it's really cold winter and i know i said it was cold but it's cold for may it's not actually super cold <laughs> anyway i'm just rambling so uh i will speak to you guys tomorrow <laughs> good morning so it is thursday it's still morning yeah it's like just after 11. <laughs> i am just chilling i've got pumba here he is just enjoying a treat but more importantly <laughs> well not more importantly because obviously I love my dog. Um, but very importantly, <laughs> I have some McDonald's. Um, I've just ordered McDonald's breakfast and I'm watching The Hills reaction video on Whitney Port's channel. And I am just living my best day off life, to be honest. <laughs> I had such a nice lie-in. I'm just gonna chill for a while have some snuggles at Pumba, eat my McDonald's breakfast. I got a sausage McMuffin for anyone that's interested um, and an extra hash brown because that's the best part. And I actually went for a Coke Zero because um, I didn't really fancy a coffee just yet. So I'm gonna crack on with this and um, enjoy my McDonald's. I'm honestly so excited. <laughs>
<laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> Hey guys, so it is Friday, as you'll have just heard. <laughs> but um, he's a bit stressed about his tree. <laughs> he's actually digging into it now, so he's fine. <laughs> it's so funny, like he just sometimes gets so excited. He just doesn't know what to do with his tree <laughs> and he has a little cry. <laughs> oh, he is definitely my puppy anyway. <laughs> I'm having such a chill day today. I actually uh, didn't vlog in the end at all later on in the day yesterday because I was really trying to force myself to just have a relaxing day. And it was so weird because all day I kept getting these like, like pop-ups in my brain to be like, oh, you need to, you need to do this. You need to, oh, you should be like, take out your laptop, check your phone, like all these things. I have to keep telling myself, I don't need to do anything. Like, yes, I've got things to do. I've got things I need to do around my flat, you know, like I need to do some laundry, those kind of things. But I was purposely trying to take yesterday as a day to just do nothing. So I really felt like I needed it. <laughs> I was just battling with this internal, um, I don't know, it was so weird. Like just constant, constantly my brain was trying to click in and tell me that like I needed to do something. Uh, but today I've had another very chill morning. I did a good workout this morning. Uh, I've taken Pumba out for a walk and stuff. And we're actually going to uh, his friends, his <laughs> Pumba's friends, <laughs> Gary, uh, to their place this evening because um, they're gonna, uh, she's got like a nice outdoor balcony and it's actually covered, which is great because it's um, uh, it's horrible out. Actually, I, th I, th I think you can actually be inside now in someone else's house anyway. But regardless, um, she's, we're, we're, yeah, we are gonna sit out on the balcony. It's better with the dogs anyway. Um, and have uh, some katsu curry that she's gonna make, which sounds amazing. Um, some of you guys were so amused, amused by the fact that Pumba's best friend's name is Gary. It's such a great name for a dog. Um, they play so well together as well. They're so cute. I actually, um, we left them in her place the other day and we grabbed coffee outside together. Um, like we went out to a coffee shop, but she has a camera at hers, like I have one here. And so we were watching them just playing together. <laughs> so Pavo, like her dog can't jump on the sofa and Pumba can. Her dog definitely could. He just obviously is a bit nervous about it and wasn't doing it. And Pumba like went around <laughs> and collected all his toys <laughs> and jumped up on the sofa and then put all the toys up on the sofa. And then we just sat on the sofa like, you can't get up here. <laughs> um, he was still playing with him, like he was going to the edge of the sofa so that um Gary could still reach him and they were like playing together. But he, <laughs> he just like stole all of his toys <laughs> and put them out of reach. <laughs> so we were having a great laugh like watching this while we were having a coffee. Um, But yeah, so that's gonna be a nice thing to do this evening. And um, right now I'm actually sorting through cosmetics. Uh, let me show you what I've got in front of me right now. <laughs> So I've got like a whole table of stuff. Um, I just finished my lovely coffee over there as well. And I've actually got a bag that's going in the bin. I've finally like just, I'm just being brutal and I'm chucking things out. And I've managed to get all of my sort of travel bits. Like, you know, all the stuff you get from hotels and everything down to one drawer, which is a miracle to be honest. I just like had to force myself to throw some stuff out and I'm just gonna start using them. Like I don't know why I just save these things up. I'm just gonna start using them and like maybe using some of the Disney products will give me a little, I don't know, reminder of like <laughs> being in Disney. But I've been holding on to some stuff for so long. Like I have perfumes that are clearly, I mean, I have a perfume, I actually remember I bought it on the flight here to London um, f on the day that I moved to London. So I think it had a bit of nostalgia to it. And then, um, so it reminds me of obviously like moving to London, of meeting my boyfriend, all of that. But like, it was almost gone and it just didn't smell great anymore. It's clearly like gone off. So if I really want the perfume, I'll just get it again. But yeah, I, I need to throw that out and I just threw out another perfume that was gone a bit bad as well. And I have brand new perfumes like ready to use. So um, yeah, now I can actually just start using products because I'm making, you know, I know exactly what I have and I'm just getting rid of stuff that I, I don't need anymore or that's gone bad or whatever. There's definitely products like that I have here that um, I've had since I moved to London. So it's like five years, six years, six years. Oh my God, it's six years. I've been in London for six years. It's actually mine and my boyfriend's anniversary. 
at the end of this month. And yeah, it's six years. Wow. Um, it's also my dad's birthday today. So I had a lovely chat with them this morning and we gave him his presents and stuff. So I'll definitely catch them again as well later on. And uh, the day, so yeah, wish you, can, you guys can all wish my dad happy birthday in the chat if you're watching live. And then the day after this goes, li this goes live, it's my birthday. And then seven days later, it's Rachel's birthday. So uh, my poor mother has all three of us <laughs> so close together. Um, anyway, right, I'm gonna uh, get back to cracking on with this cosmetic stuff now that I've actually got motivation to do it and uh i'm watching some youtube videos and yeah just having a lovely day to be honest <laughs> i just need to do this more often like i've got so much holiday to use i just need to take i was actually supposed to take the whole week off this week and i didn't um i ended up like cancelling part of it because i was going to go home originally um but i've now pushed that back so i have taken another day off for when i eventually go home but uh yeah i just um ended up getting like needing to do some stuff and then I felt like it was a bit of a waste to take a whole week but I don't know like I think I will take some more days like this over the next couple of months could definitely do it <laughs> Pumba's finished with sausages Pumba was that nice was that nice It is Saturday. I feel like this vlog is gonna be me just sat on this sofa the whole time. Um, <laughs> other than the bit of B-roll that I got out of my flat. <laughs> I think it probably is. Um, so I'm just sat, Pump is here. <laughs> I swear, we have moved. So um, I actually went to the gym this morning. Uh, I was up nice and early actually because I was so tired last night. Uh, we did go to, um, I was gonna, it is my friend's place now, but like Pumba's friend's owner's place. <laughs> so Gary's owner's place. Um, and it was so nice. We had a lovely katsu curry that she made. It was delicious. And I uh, had a couple of glasses of wine. But it was actually really good because uh, I did, I purposely only had a couple of glasses of wine um, and uh, drank lots of water because I did want to get up and go to the gym this morning, which I did. Uh, and I had a really good gym session actually, although there was, <laughs> there was a moment. Um, <laughs> oh, I just had like a proper, I, oh, I feel like I'm having a good, I have a moan, but right, I, I was at the gym and then there's, um, I forget, I don't know what you call the machine, but it's basically, um, if you use a barbell, um, like with weights, it's like one of those, but it's on an assisted machine. So instead of you just having the barbell like free that you can walk around with it and stuff, it's actually attached to a machine. So basically if something was to happen and you were to drop the weight, the machine would catch it. You know, it's like a sort of safety thing, I guess. Um, and it's not an Olympic um, barbell. Uh, anyway, <laughs> this machine, right? And you have to like set it up to, to use it because you know you have to put the right weights on you set it at the right height all these sorts of things and i walked over like there was two of the machines both of them were free and like it took me a good five minutes to set it up like so i was taking my time i was listening to some music and this girl comes over and was like i'm using this machine <laughs> i was like what and then i saw that she'd like left a water bottle like at the back of the machine like behind the weights this like black water bottle she was like yeah i'm using this machine I was just like, right? I was like, you, are you? <laughs> and she was just like, and I could just tell like she was ready to have some confrontation. So I was just like, whatever. I was like, well, I was like, have fun setting it up again. <laughs> like there was literally a free machine beside us. So there was no benefit to her to use the machine that I had then just set up for myself. Like, and I'd obviously cleaned it down, like set it up and everything. And now she, I mean, she didn't actually clean it down. I wasn't cleaning it down now that she was kicking me off the machine. So she was like, oh, like that one's free. I was like, yeah, it is free. 
<laughs> but I just wasn't, it wasn't worth arguing. I was in a good place enjoying my workout and I just didn't need that negativity. <laughs> so I just set myself up on the machine beside. And then like, she took like a good while to set up. Obviously, like I say, she didn't clean the machine, but she set it up again for her because I had reset it for myself. <sighs> but I was like, really? Like, what was the point of that? And, you know, also COVID, you know, <laughs> like, still around, still a thing. Maybe, you know, if someone else is using equipment, like, leave them to it instead of like she literally came straight up to me like just like right like real close to me and we don't wear masks in our gym as well so I was just a bit like ah um but I, I don't know where she was when I came like maybe she was alternating between some machines or something but I don't know I just thought it was a bit strange <laughs> let me know in the comments down below if any of you guys have had some weird gym experiences I feel like the gym is the kind of place where you do just have some weird experiences. Um, I've been really, really enjoying the gym though. I know I've been saying that. And uh, I keep sort of like having a battle in my mind about whether I cancel my gym or not because it's ridiculously expensive and I was only ever planning to join it as part of like an intro offer and then move to a cheaper gym. But oh, I'm just like, it's worth it for me right now because of the fact of how much I'm enjoying the gym and it's so close and everything like that. And there's other gyms in the area, so I could just move gym. But what if I do that and then I don't enjoy it as much and so I don't go as often? I feel like I just don't wanna break the run that I'm on with the gym, you know? Uh, we are going to head to my boyfriend's very shortly. I'm gonna take Pumba on the train again because like I said last week, uh, he has just been so, so good on the train and I feel so much more relaxed traveling with him on the train and it takes longer, like to drive to his probably takes us 40 minutes and then if I get the train, because I've got a, a decent walk, probably like a 20 minute walk this side um, and a 20 minute walk, well 15 minute walk the other side, it takes over an hour, like it'll take about an hour, 10 minutes maybe. Um, so it's like an extra half hour, but it's totally worth it because I just feel so much more relaxed. It's also, you know, a fraction of the cost, just like 10% of the cost or something of an Uber. Um, and yeah, if he's more relaxed, I'm more relaxed, then he's tired when we get there. It just makes sense. So that's what I'm gonna do. He's just playing with his little pig down here. Let me know what you guys have been up to. This weekend coming in the UK when this goes live is the bank holiday weekend. Yes, a little bank holiday weekend. And I've also got my birthday off work. I don't know if I said that already, but um, at my job we get our birthday off. So I'm off on Wednesday, which is great. And I have got flights booked to go home. So I have flights booked for the weekend after the UK bank holiday, which is actually the Irish bank holiday weekend. Um, and then I booked the Monday that it is the Irish bank holiday off because my family will all be off. Um, so I'm hoping that can go ahead. There's kind of, I don't think there's anything stopping me going in terms of COVID restrictions. I just need to take a test this side. So I have to take, I have to have a, a negative COVID test to get into Ireland. And cause I'm an like Irish citizen, Irish passport, I'll be fine getting home. I just have to quarantine when I get there, which is absolutely fine. But the only thing would just be with Pumba. Like I just need to make sure my boyfriend's okay to take him. Like one of my friends has actually offered to take him as well. So I have that option too, but you know, Oh, I just really want to go home. Okay, I can't talk about it because I'll get emotional. Um, Because this is literally the longest it's ever been since I've been home. It's almost six months. I haven't been home since Christmas. I've never, ever, ever gone that long without seeing my family. I've been home in Ireland. Yeah. Ah, okay, let's not talk about it. Let's get ready to go. <laughs> So I'm back in my flat now. Uh, it is another very dull, definitely gonna rain kind of day. I'm literally stood at the window and I'm uh, just getting enough light. <laughs> but I hope you guys are all doing really well. I'm so excited to have another day off this week. Uh, oh, having those two days off and then having the weekend, honestly, it just felt like such a nice break. And I was really strict with myself about going on to work messages and stuff. I did actually, 
I did go on yesterday. <laughs> I just sort of like cleared um, my, like all of my internal chats just so that I didn't have full on Monday morning dread and I could actually have, you know, like sleep to a decent time. Cause I just know if I didn't do that, I'd be all panicky Monday morning. So I did log on Sunday for like literally 20 minutes, just cleared everything down. So I knew I could have proper sleep on Monday and not wake up with the dread. Uh, but yeah, I'm just um, in really good form. Like I can just feel that, you know, the efforts I've made to have time off and just, you know, still working on that work-life balance are really paying off. I can just see it in my mood. And obviously, you know, other things have happened. Like, you know, my boyfriend's operation has happened. That was obviously a massive stress uh, and he's doing well and stuff. So, you know, there's other stresses that have um, eased off a bit, but yeah, I just, I'm feeling in really good spirit. So um, I hope you guys are all having a really good start to your week uh, and yeah I'm looking forward to vlogging next week vlogging or this week <laughs> vlog inception um, and uh, you guys can spend my birthday with me <laughs> like literally I mean this is my second lockdown birthday to be fair I can't remember what I did for last year's birthday I mean I've probably got it documented so I could go back and check but probably not much different to what I'm doing for this birthday uh, which is not very much <laughs> um, but I'm super excited about going back I just spat myself there I don't know if you saw that <laughs> I'm super excited to be going back to Ireland soon as well uh, and yeah I have some plans over the weekend too like I'm meeting up with a couple of my friends on Friday which I'm very excited about um, and then on Sunday Monday which is the bank holiday I have a barbecue with um, a couple of my other friends so yeah it's gonna be a nice nice week I'm just really looking forward to it um anyway I'm just rambling so um thank you guys for watching have a good week let me know in the comments down below how you guys are as always and yeah I will see you all next week bye